Well, everybody, the Mike McCarthy project is now in full effect on the offensive side of the ball in Dallas. Mike McCarthy will be calling plays. That's the first time a Cowboys coach will do that since Jason Garrett back in 2012. And on top of that, a bunch of new guys that Mike McCarthy's had relationships in the past. Are they good coaches? What should we be concerned about? Should we be excited? We're going to go through all of that in today's video. With that being said, let's dive straight in. Now, before we begin, if you guys could do me a favor and hit the like button, that'd be greatly appreciated. Subscribe if you're new, hit the notification bell as well. And also, if you want to support the channel further, hit the card up above or hit the join button down below or in the link in the pinned comment so you can support the channel further if you wish to do so. But with all that, Mike McCarthy is having full control of what this offense is going to look like. We know that him and Kellen Moore have had philosophical differences for the longest time since that Mike McCarthy has been here. You know, the option routes, how certain players are involved with the offense. We know that that has been the biggest thing that has happened with the Cowboys throughout the entire tenure. Now that Kellen Moore is gone, and they both mutually decided to move apart from one another, Mike McCarthy decided, I'm going to take the reins on offense, and I'm going to get my right-hand men in here so that we can get this thing taken care of. So... The first big thing in the totem pole is you have Brian Schottenheimer as the right-hand man, basically. You know, you have him as your offensive coordinator, and with it, again, we need to remember he is not calling plays, but he will be one of the guys responsible for designing the plays of the playbook and making it so that Mike McCarthy will have the play sheet for him to work with. And this is huge. With Brian Schottenheimer, you have an experienced OC. You know, having someone that's learning on the job, that's great. And also, he comes from an era of Seattle football where it was let Russ cook, and Russell Wilson had some of the best years of his career while he was there. And the reason why he left Seattle was not because he was bad. It was just simply due to the fact that him and Pete Carroll just didn't get along. He did not want to run the ball as much as Pete would like, and that's pretty much it. And another interesting thing is you had another guy from Seattle who's had relationships with Mike McCarthy and Mike Solari come here to be your offensive line coach. And that's the next, you know, domino in this entire thing. Because with Mike Solari, he actually had not a lot of talented guys to work with with that Seattle offensive line, yet they were in the upper echelon of pass protection and run blocking in the league. And that's something that is extremely imperative as we move forward into how we're rebuilding this offense the way Mike McCarthy wants to do it. Because if you remember, and this is something I want to do as a side note, when Dan Quinn got added to be the DC, the question was, okay, are we going to see anything different? And he said, yeah, we're going to do a couple things different, but things might stay the same. There wasn't really a whole lot said, and you can see that there has been a lot that's gone into how Dan Quinn has built this defensive roster and scheme with what players he has and all that other stuff. And I expect the same thing to happen on the offensive side of the ball. Mike McCarthy has been good since he's been here in Dallas in the sense of how this football program has run. 6-10 and 10 the first year, 12-5, and 12-5, and, and you have progressively gotten better. You have lost in the wild card the first go-around when you made the postseason. You won in the wild card round the next go-around. You have improved. The next step is getting to that NFC Championship game and above. Now, we don't know exactly what's going to happen and ultimately, you know, where we will land in 2023 because we got to figure out who we're going to put on the roster. But I think the biggest step is you needed to churn this offense and make it something that is what Mike McCarthy wants to do. And you might be saying, Space, well, you're saying all these things, but what does Mike McCarthy ultimately want to do? If you know Mike McCarthy's history and you watch the film of what he has done in Green Bay, it is a very West Coast style system, which I think would benefit a guy like Dak Prescott or a backup quarterback that you might want to draft whether that be Hendon Hooker, Jaron Hall, whoever you wish, Cooper Rush if you decide to keep him. And also, I think it's going to help some of your younger receivers because you're making the offense a little bit more simpler. You're getting rid of the post-snap option routes, which I think caused Jalen Tolbert to struggle. And I think that that's going to be overall and a very, very, very key thing as we move forward. Another couple of guys, you have Scott Tolzien as your QB coach. And you also have added Jeff Blasco as your running back slash run game coordinator. Now, um, 
when it comes to those guys, I understand that people are a bit iffy on Scott Tolzien because of the fact, hey, he's a former player, he's been with the Cowboys as an assistant, and now he's the QB coach. Here's ultimately what I take with this movement on the coaching staff. You are bringing in Mike McCarthy guys to run Mike McCarthy's offense. That is all that I care about. You are going to ultimately live and die by Mike McCarthy, and if that works, awesome, and if it doesn't, you at least had Mike McCarthy do it his way, which I understand that's how things are going. And that's where I ultimately end it right there. Look, I get it. We want to see the Dallas Cowboys continue to go further, and we want to see them get to where they want to go, but I think this is something that needed to happen. You needed Mike McCarthy to get his guys in here, knowing the circumstances. I understand they're not household names, and I'm not trying to have a Stockholm Syndrome of, oh, the Cowboys just picked these guys, and I'm just like, whatever, and I'm just trying to make it work for me. No, it's because Mike McCarthy, and with what the Joneses are saying, it's Mike McCarthy's show on the offensive side of the ball. And if that is true, and if they're going to let Mike McCarthy cook, I cannot wait to see what they ultimately bring in on the offensive side of the ball, because now we're going to start seeing Mike McCarthy guys come in here, and also we're getting rid of things that we know are an issue. We'll probably get rid of the option routes, which is going to be massive and should reduce the amount of interceptions that take place because of receiver or quarterback, you know, communication there, as we've talked about when I mentioned Dak Prescott and what he's done. It's going to benefit Dak because now you're getting him into a brand new offensive system that generally helps the quarterback and makes it a little bit more efficient. And, you know, at this point, we just want to see peak efficiency and, you know, optimum results. If we can get that, then I think that we're in a good situation, guys. And so with that, we know from the list that I have in front of me, Mike McCarthy calling plays. Brian Schottenheimer will be designing the plays alongside with Jeff Blasco, who will be, you know, figuring out the run game and how to work that in. Scott Tolzien will be coaching up Dak Prescott and the quarterbacks. And, I mean, the way you look at it is you also brought in a quality control guy from the college ranks from Lincoln Riley system. So the Cowboys ultimately are having a system in place where you have a bunch of collective minds together from the college ranks, from a system in the college ranks that people were very high on Lincoln Riley. You now have a system where Mike McCarthy is familiar with, and you are now going to try and put that together. Whether this results in a championship or not, I think that this is the step that the Cowboys needed to take, especially if, you know, Mike McCarthy is going to try and coach for his job, at least let him, you know, live and die by his method. Like I said, I'm not here to tell you that it's going to work or not. What I am trying to explain to you guys here is that Mike McCarthy has put the apparatus in place for him to succeed or fail. And I think that if we truly want to get a gauge on what we got in Mike McCarthy, which, by the way, he won a Super Bowl calling plays, and he's had top offenses calling plays, I think that if you liked what you saw what he did in Green Bay before he gave up play calling, which is, I believe, pre-2015, I guarantee you that you're going to love what the Dallas Cowboys have to offer here. And I think that that's really much of what we got going on. I I don't really have much more to say, guys, other than Mike McCarthy has put his system in place. Now that we have the system in place, we need to go get the players and we need to go there. Mike Solari, you got yourself an offensive line that's got some talented guys on there. And I think you're going to work well with that, considering what statistics you did with Seattle and how well they played on the offensive side of the ball with the offensive line. I think Brian Schottenheimer is going to be having a fun time with scheming up plays for the guys that we have on offense, even though I think we should get a little bit more help. And I think that Jeff Blasco will have an interesting situation with the run, you know, the whole run game considering we don't know what we're going to do at running back, and maybe we will see if we add some new running backs in here what that could mean, or it's fullback, because, you know, with John Kuhn from the Green Bay Packers, that was something that Mike McCarthy really liked to have. So if you are a fan of the fullback being used and being a key part in the offense, and not just as a blocker, but as a runner, I think that you're going to enjoy this offense. And so with that being said, guys, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm right. But all we know is Mike McCarthy... You're on the clock with building this offense. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is Space Cowboy Media signing out. Have a good one.